ultimate aim of political parties is to win elections, but this depends largely on the ability to sell their candidates to the electorate. Many believe that the electorate in a real democracy determines the emergence of candidates at all levels. Aside from the political permutations, circumstances surrounding the emergence of candidates through public acceptance also dwell most times on promises and candidates for the 2023 presidential election are no exception. With the emergence of a former Lagos State Governor Ashiwaju Tinubu as the presidential flag bearer of the ruling All Progressives Congress, Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, Rabi Kwakwansu of the New Nigeria People's Party, Peter B of the Labour Party, and several others, the stage is set as campaigns officially commence on Wednesday, September 28, 2022, according to the Independent National Electoral Commission. Like previous elections and the political gimmicks that come before them, analysts said about 15 opposition parties would pick on the performance of the incumbent APC government to campaign against its presidential candidates. Tinumbu, prior to the 2015 general elections, a good number of Nigerians were caught between the choice of the two major political parties, the APC and the PDP. <laughs> then the President Goodluck Jonathan, who emerged as the PDP standard bearer in the 2015 presidential election, and the APC presidential candidate Major General Mohamed Buhari retired, took their campaigns to every part of the country, urging prospective voters to queue behind them. The political parties engaged in various gimmicks why the PDP-led government enjoyed the power of incumbency at that time and showering of fascinating praises on records of its performance. The then major opposition party, the APC, took advantage of the failure of the Jonathan administration to entice the electorate. Eventually, the APC's Buari emerged the winner of the election and was inaugurated as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and most citizens were Hopeful for a better life. Seven years down the lane, it is believed in some quarters that the performance of the Buhari regime will affect the continuity of the APC as a ruling party, as well as the emergence of Tinubu as president in 2023. While some have maintained that one of the major aspects of wooing the electorate is the economy, others say is the security of lives and property as an area where candidates must talk about to be able to garner more votes. A political analyst and professor of economics at the Bayero University, Kano Familu Fage, said the APC flag bearer had to worry about the current situation in the country because the judgment of the electorate would be based on how it had managed the economy and the current situation in terms of security of lives and property. He said any candidate from a ruling party has some challenges. On one hand, there is the probability that because they are in power, there is this incumbency factor that may assist the candidates of the ruling party. But on the other hand, there are challenges of belonging to the ruling party, especially if the political party happens to be in office for long. Many challenges of the ruling party will weigh the candidates down. For example, one of the major problems that the APC will face is that it's a government in power and within the time it has spent in office, there have been many problems ranging from insecurity to inflation and from unemployment to hunger and poverty generally. So these are things that we weigh the party down because the opposition will take advantage of that and campaign against the party. Besides, the electorate will use such indices to measure the party before voting. The performance of the APC-led government under the leadership of President Muhammad Buhari has come under severe criticism, criticism following the country's economic challenges and insecurity. Similarly, the chairman Kwara State Chapter of the PDP, Babasundi Muhammad, told Saturday Punch that the APC had failed Nigerians in the area of security and the people's standard of living. Mohammed said, I haven't even seen any states in Nigeria that where the APC can win in 2023. In 2015, the exchange rate when Gulag Jonathan was leaving office was between 180 Naira and 185 Naira to 
one dollar today we are talking about 700 per dollar a bag of semovita that was selling for about 1300 is now around 7000 a bag of rice that was 8000 now 36000 naira can you imagine such a thing you know this is supposed to be headache <laughs> this is supposed to be headache for Bola Tinubu, honestly, you can't even you can't even rule that out. However, a former minister of communication in Buhari's regime, who doubles as the director general of Ashwaju Tinubu presidential campaign organization, Adibayo she to express confidence that amidst the challenges, why should you be having challenges? This way, even the challenges were not there before now that you ought to have solved, but you compounded the challenges. But you say, despite the fact that there are challenges, the APC will still win. <laughs> okay. Well. He said, I'm surprised that people are enlightening the failure of Buhari administration and successes of the government, which are certainly more than failures. Really? We are talking of economy, the security, the uh, corruption, this and everything. No, none of them you can take. And you are telling us that uh, the, f the failure is less than the achievement. Rather than having the fear of a supposed failure, you will challenge the improve to improve on the nigeria situation and for us that is what is important what is the failure of worry in prices of commodities that have skyrocketed is worry supposed to impose rice con price control on yam beans and many others which have been grown people think worry can play god by recycling or uh, rectifying the behavior of nigerians can you imagine <laughs> On the death situation, the government has a lot of responsibility in building infrastructure. So, what is the government using loan for? On dollar increase, yes, it is inevitable because Nigerians are not producing to export. If our imports continue to increase, then our imports, our exports, the dollar will continue to rise. So, why are you not importing? The person that told us that a uh, diversification, why are they not producing? Somebody says he's going to produce it. They say no. You see, you know, they'll just be talking rubbish it was after buari came on board that the dimension of banditry from the northwest stopped you will agree with me that uh, the war against banditry is like an unconventional war our armed forces are also succeeding in this administration what did not what they did not succeed in doing we are succeeded in the sense that we have almost brought these criminalities to a halt our party will win nothing less than 80 percent at the general elections, even in Adamawa, where Asiku comes from, and Kanu, where Rabi Kwakansu comes from, we will defeat these two presidential candidates by the grace of God. Mm. <laughs> Can you imagine what somebody is opening his mouth? Adiba Yoshitsu. Congratulations to you. Buhari and IPC failure, not a surprise. Focus on critical people in Nigeria. Knew this would happen just the way we know that the worst to before Nigeria in 2023 and beyond is Tinubu APC. Reality minus happening is equal to reality and disappointment. The very problem in Nigeria now as regards voting is that you can't even predict electorates. My assumption to this effect is that the polling booth surprise this will come. The only hope now is that during campaign the electorate should watch the games and the sweet talk and have the good things to educate their household or whom to vote for so guys let's hear your opinion and have your take on this